I love trees. I love fall. What I don't love is leaves. Welcome to Leaf Again. In my town, there are a lot of places you can buy a trailer. They've got dual axle, three quarter ton, one ton, two ton, dump beds, big monstrosities. They're gonna run you about five grand. I don't need a big dump bed. I just need to haul leaves. When it came time to buy a trailer, I decided to have a good look at the Harbor Freight trailer. I know Harbor Freight sells trailers. I'd seen them in their store before. One of the features that appealed to me was the fact that you can fold it up and slide it inside your garage. Well, that and the price. The price is very reasonable. The website lists the price at $300, though I find it on sale pretty regularly. And when I bought mine, I only paid $250. With the sides and the plywood decking and the licensing, I came out to about $300. A pretty good deal if you're looking for a budget price trailer. When you're ready to use a trailer, you just pull it out, raise the tongue, put the pins into it, and lock it in position. Then lower it onto the drive tires. I find it easier putting the tongue on the hitch of the truck before going any further. Once the trailer is attached to the truck hitch, it's a simple matter to extend the back part of the bed and you're in business. The bed is 4 foot by 8 foot, so it's simply a matter of chopping a piece of plywood in half and you have your decking. I have 2 foot high sides on my trailer that are 8 feet long and 4 foot across. You could use a whole other sheet of plywood and just cut that in half. For a total of 2 sheets of plywood, you can have your wood parts for your trailer. It looks like the sideboards are going to fall off, but they're wedged in there pretty good. And you want them a little bit sloppy so you can pull the back end off and get the leaves out. Another neat trick that this trailer offers is the ability to pull the pins that hold the tongue in position. With the pins removed, the trailer essentially breaks in half and tilts, allowing you to load or unload quite easily. Another feature that's not included with the trailer is having a lovely wife that will unload the trailer while you make a video for YouTube. If you're looking for an economical, small trailer that you can store easily and it won't cost you an arm and a leg, I can highly recommend this trailer. It did everything we needed it to do this year, and if I had to buy one every three or four years, for the price, I'd probably be okay with that. I think if you buy this trailer with these expectations in mind, you're probably going to be very happy with it. I know we are. Thanks for watching the video, and please consider subscribing.